to run. You're too soft. Behave now. I'd hate to stick you through that prep. <laughs> you know, I did. I suppose that settles it. The rats were working together. Must be quite a story behind this. But more importantly, time and time again, you dragged my name through the mud. And now look who's the traitor. Oh, I'm going to make this hurt. Hector, come. Hector? Wait, that's your dog? You mean he transformed at your command? That animal's been corrupted by melancholia, and still you tamed it. Gladell, why did you hide such an amazing talent? Isn't taking hostages a bit beneath you? What? Don't you dare patronize me! You think I don't realize it? I'm not strong, I'm no towering Rassant war hero. All I've got is my wits, damn you! How could I win a rigged game but through foul play? Foul play? And now, I'll wipe those arrogant smiles off their faces. I should be the man being served and worshipped. Me, no one else. And yet every time, I watch them surpass me in everything I did. That bastard Luis included. They've been thorn after bloody thorn in my side, but that all ends today. I'll offer you up on a silver platter, and one day, the world will know me as its rightful ruler! Oh my, you're pathetic. I told you to shut your damned mouth! Go, Hector! You let your dog do your fighting. You're such a disgrace. He has no pets here. So what's the matter? Are you too scared to fight him alone? A duel? <laughs> Have it your way. Come then, we'll do this right. <laughs> <laughs> I am Gladell, and you will kneel before me as your king! So, who are you to me? I am the one who would save this country! Well, that worked better than I expected. This is bad. That guy is near the top of the candidate rankings. That means the royal magic will make him invincible to us. <laughs> <laughs> you have the right of it. You fell for it. She brought you straight to me. Now I have you, and I'll ensure your suffering is long and painful. But see reason. Juna, if you take my son, I might be persuaded to spare you. Am I not worthy of your affection? I'm more of a man than that bastard Luis could ever be! Over my dead body! I am Juan the Cygnus. I am no one's trinket. My life is my own to protect, and I will accept nothing less! <laughs> what? It worked? <laughs> well, you're not invincible! Damn you! What's going on here? <laughs> Let me help. Your powers have intrigued me from the start. You and your friends. You call it... an archetype, right? What? I thought as much. Surprising, though. I'd written them off as a myth. Not even my sister got close. Still, now that I've seen their power a few times, maybe... I can do it myself. Very well. O oh, Lord Star, who wanders in sorrow. O oh, thou anguished traveler who hath borne the weight of parting from the start. Henceforth, thy fears and insecurities become thy light. Thou art the brilliant star that shall illuminate the king's road. Now, awaken. Look. Look at me. What you see now is my commitment to my song. Be 
behold, my voice rises from the depths of my heart. Give! Please! I'll not say a word about you sneaking in. Just spare my life, I beg you. What do we do? If we let him run off, he's obviously going to rat us out. But killing him would give us a lot to explain. Maybe we should work out some kind of deal. Idiots! It's the oldest trick in the book! What's happening? No. I'm the future king. I can't. I can't breathe. Why? Is he dead? So the magic protected us. But why now? What the hell? Dead? You lot kill him. N no! He's the one who attacked us! And then the king's magic did all that to him! That the truth of it? Oh, he snuck into Count Luis's private quarters. Must have gotten in with all the confusion of takeoff, I suppose. Right? And why did the bloody thing take off like that? We could hardly believe our eyes. Oh, well, you know me and my indulgences, boys. Perhaps I got a bit carried away, but we're in Brylehaven. I simply had to see the night view over the city. You have an alap. Anyway, then Gladell went from crass to violent. That's when he stepped in to help. Right? Uh, yes. Exactly. Right! Crikey, Lady Juna, I'm sorry. Sounds like you've had a right awful evening. Hold on. You were supposed to be at the soiree, weren't you? That's a lot of ground to cover, isn't it? Why? One would think you don't believe us, Fidelio. I'm wounded. You truly doubt me. Well, no, just... I suppose that means the rat was Glodel. Lord Louis said we got a traitor in our midst, is all. We came by thinking to catch him. This... is that so? Well, hadn't you better report back? Shall we make what we can of this party together? Your throat's all better then, Lady Juna. My... Ah, oh, yes. Much better. He gave me such a thorough examination, after all. He took good care of my throat, my tongue, my lips. He, um, you. If you'd come a bit earlier, I might have asked you to do it. Really? Hardly matters to me. Anyway, I'd say this bears reporting. Let's leave the guards to their cleanup and get out of here. Yeesh, Lux could kill. Scary. 